Again, he's found success. Um, the point that I want to make is I don't think Al's success has come, excuse me, just from uh, being an athlete or being an artist or being a political activist. I think that his success has come from uh, his love of life, his enthusiasm, and the fact that he sees the best in us in a way that pulls us to him. Gene Serena, who coached him for four years in basketball and four years in softball, I think you might have realized this before I did. She says, uh, more importantly than the stats and what position Alex played is his character. Alex is a player that every coach dreams about. If his teammates were standing here, I think they would all give tribute to what a great teammate he was and how much they enjoyed being on the team with him. He has found success, and I guess one of the things I want to note is that I think one of his big diving boards was his podium.
currently hold this, uh, the women's <clears throat> um, high school uh, scoring record, and I really hope to be ousted very soon from that. <laughs> um, we have yet um, to have a, a Harrisburg Academy female athlete to break that glass ceiling of 1,000 points, and I, I really want to see that happen soon. Um, we deserve that, for sure, big time. Um, so Serena gave, uh, Serena gave me a call and told me that I was going to be receiving uh, or was chosen to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, and um, she asked me to send her a line to be put on the plaque. Um, and I don't know if any of you saw it, but it might seem a little dark, but I didn't really mean it to the process dark at all. Um, I really meant it really in a very positive way, and it, it reads, just so in case you haven't seen it, it says, the Harrisburg Academy has always competed against larger giants, and it was common to feel like the heroic underdog. We all learned about losing. Through teamwork, dedication, and practice, we also learned the glory of victory, and about the sportsmanship that came along with it. And those were invaluable years to my growth. Um, and what does that mean? I guess what, what, the, what I was trying to convey with only what, the 200 characters or something that you gave me, <laughs> um, was that we rarely played against schools our size. We were always, we were always, I really think we were always the smallest. We had, you know, anyone that went to this school knows that we had about 30 kids in our grade, and if you were older than us, you probably had less kids in the grade. We always played schools that were two or three times the size of us, and if we wanted to win, if we wanted it, we had to, we had to practice longer, um, we had to work harder, um, we had to spend more hours on it, and we really, we really had, had to want it. Um, and there we learned, obviously, these really important lessons about, um, about practice and um, putting in good work will yield success. And those things that people say, what, you can do whatever you put your, your mind to, you can do it. It's true. It is true. If you, if you work hard, you practice hard, you can do it. And we learned that. Um, I also think that it's important for winners to know what it feels like when you're not at the top. And I think that we learned that here. Because we definitely were not always at the top. Um, as Alexis said, there were definitely, we had losing years and we had winning years, you know? And um, so not only is it important for winners to know what it's like not to be at the top, it's also important to have a leadership on a team and helping your younger, less experienced players out. And all these things that we're talking about, that's sportsmanship. And that's part of what I was trying to convey on the plaque. Um, and practice day to day, sportsmanship, that's political. It's doing good in the, good in the world while being successful. Um, and I'm honored that the Harrisburg Academy has decided to induct a guy into the Women's Hall of Fame. Um, and I applaud the school for being brave enough to do that. Um, the school has always supported me, um, teachers and mentors, student body, um, has always supported me. And when I came out in high school, I was applauded and supported. Um, and this school was and it is a family who cares. Um, and it says a lot about um, this institution's character. On top of its academics and its athletics, it's a strong sense of character. Um, I started my transition five years ago, and I, I guess I want everyone to realize what's happening tonight is very important. Um, it's sending a very strong message to our young LGBT queer and trans youth. And that message is saying it's okay to be different, um, and we will applaud you, and we will applaud your achievements. We will support you. And that's an invaluable message for our youth to hear. Um, it is political. 